Today I will show you how to make a standing spray and this one will be consisting of only one type of flower and so I will have only carnations which is what differs from the other standing spray video that we have. You can go check that one out. So we're going to begin by placing our oasis into our standing spray frame. I have already pre-soaked this oasis. You're going to need a plastic bag. This is what will help retain moisture. So you want to make sure you have that. Just take some floral tape and secure it in place. We have videos, many other videos where we show you how to properly submerge the oasis. So you can go check that out. So just tape it up, crisscross, and then make sure you tape up the ends around the edge like so. You're going to need a piece of wire. This is what's going to help you make sure that it is secure and stays on the, your, on your, so you're going to need a piece of wire. The piece of wire is what's going to help you make sure that your frame here will stay on your stand. So just put it on your stand and then wrap up the wire. It will get heavy because you will be adding in a lot of flowers and the water will also add in a lot of weight. So make sure you don't skip this step. It's very important. Unlike our other standing spray videos, we are actually going to begin with our greenery. When we are doing mixed, mixed flowers, we normally just start with our flowers, but in this case, we're only going to be using one flower and that is carnation. So we're going to begin by setting our frame or our shape by using this greenery. I have these palm leaves here. So I'm going to begin by start setting my shape with the palm leaves. So make sure that when you're placing your palm leaves, the ones at the very top, they are towards the back. And the ones at the bottom, they are more angled towards the front. You wanna make sure that you disperse your weight evenly so that it's not too heavy in the front or too heavy in the back. So now we're just going to add some gold Ascodistra leaves, as you can see here. We're also going to be using some of our carnations. So you want to make sure that you just put place in all of your greenery first. This is what will help you create the shape and make it much easier for you to move around your flowers later on. So now we're just going to begin adding our carnations in. We are going to be trying to achieve an explosion effect. So the longest carnations we're going to be putting towards the outside and we're going to be going in shorter, shorter and more dense towards the middle. As you can see here, I'm making my longest carnations at the very top and you'll see, soon see how the explosion effect kind of forms. So just keep watching. I'm going to be using hot pink carnations along with the light pink. And when opening carnations, you want to make sure that you pinch the bottom like so and then twist it very softly, lightly, and then just spread open the top.
So make sure you place your larger carnations towards the middle because you want to make sure you maintain the density in the middle. Once again, we're going for an explosion effect, so that is quite important. Also, try to get a try to checker if you're especially using two different colors, try to checker them a little bit. Don't make it too too many light pink in one area, too many hot pink in another area. Try to make them more sparse and evenly spread them out. As mentioned before, you want to make sure you place your longest carnations on the outside, which is like the top and the bottom, and then go shorter, shorter, and then shorter towards the middle. finished putting in our carnations here and we're going to begin filling up all the gaps with some salal, some sprayed gold salal. And this is our finished result. So what you can do is you can add a ribbon if you'd like. We will be making a video on how to make a ribbon and write a message on it. So you can check that out when it's out and spray it with some water and store it in a cool place overnight. And thank you so much for watching. Leave any comments, questions or concerns below and don't forget to subscribe.